Okay, so tonight we're going to add a validator node to our um, a validator to our node, and uh, we're going to do that through the uh, wallet. So uh, let's get started. Okay, now the first thing you have to know is in order to add a validator node, you need at least um, I think it is uh, one. AVO, or whatever they call their token. The first, and you also need to know what the um, node ID is, so let's get that first. So this is the curl command, and we'll run this. And we have our node ID. So what I want to do here is copy this response here and save it to my text file here, which you can't see because it has things like passwords on it. Right. Okay. So we now have our um, <clears throat> node ID. The next step is we're going to go into the wallet and let's see avalanche wallet so the first thing you have to do is we have Av avx and we're going to transfer this this is cross train to p so i'm going to say two to make sure i have enough because there are fees and things of that nature. And we're going to do confirm. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it'll... And now it says transfer. And... Bingo. So... Now, hopefully, what I should be able to do is click on Earn, and it says Add Validator right here. Click on that, and let's go for one, and Reward Address. Use this wallet. So we're going to use this wallet to get our rewards. And I don't think we have to do anything. What else do we need? Um, ah, we need the node ID. So that's what we copied over in the path step. I'm going to bring that over. And because it has to know where, what node it's. Now, so, we're staking for 21 days, and this is, again, we're on the, um, just so you know, we're on the test network. And hit confirm, invalid node ID. Okay, I think we need the full, the full nine yards here. I think it likes, and where did my node ID go? Oh. We need the whole thing with, so we're going to try that. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. And and it, there you go. So your validation will start at least five minutes so now it's going to do it for 21 days and we're going to have a delegation fee um, and let's see what is a delegation fee so I'll make sure we understand that um, staking and we can do this if I can maybe um let's see 
I assume it would be similar to there we go. Well, add a um your response. So you fill in the staking parameters. We did that. We're now staking. Uh, and get pending validators. Let's see if I here. Let's add. You can do it also with um, curl and. Let's see, so that's the staking transaction. And we can do, here we go. So platform dot get pending validates. It's a typical format. The data is JSON RPC 2.0, the method and the parameters. And let's copy that and put that in here see what we get. So we got a node ID. Let's see, we got our validators. We got the node ID. Got a start time and the end time and the staked amount. C delegation fee, uh, staked amount, this is what we did. So that is uh, how you add a validator and this is how you can, if you did this on the main, the real node, <laughs> on a connecting to the main net with your uh, wallet, then you would um, start earning at AVEX and um, that we did all the chain most of the chains have something like that now uh, we saw that it's in um, uh, beta it's in here and um, you can sometimes do it from your uh, broker you know if you get on uh, what was it I think Kraken has it there are a couple of them let you do it. And then the ultimate with that is um, Celsius Network, where you can essentially just put uh, any, you know, crypto in there. And then depending on what kind it is, they will give you a rate on it. And um, so that's one way to hold crypto and still earn uh, interest. For example... Your bank, banks pay next to nothing on savings accounts. Well, that's not good. Uh, there are two aspects of having money in your savings account more than you need for, you know, emergency. One is that it's not earning interest. Two is the banking system, quite frankly, is vulnerable. You know, we got things going on. You don't know what's going to happen. So that's why people are, money, are putting things on something like a Celsius where they're getting interest on it. Or I think, you know, there are others. Um, and I, I personally use Celsius. Uh, not, a, not an endorsement. You have to look at it for yourself. And, you know, because I may, you know, who knows? I could be, I could have made a mistake here. Uh, the other thing is people putting things in precious metals, and uh, I believe in mixing things up. The more diversified you are, and this and my background is in finance, so this gets into a little bit of financial theory, and I know it's a little off topic, but it's kind of important. One of the things they teach you with finance when you're studying formal finance is diversification. There's a certain amount of risk. So if you have, take all your money and you put it in one stock or one industry, if something goes wrong there, you, you're going to, you know, you're going to get really hurt. Now, obviously, if something goes right there, you're going to make a lot. 
but when you're trying to limit your risk, you diversify into things that are pref preferably not correlated. So if something goes wrong in A, it can go wrong in B. I mean, it can be go right in B. And even sometimes within companies, one of the one of the things about having you know a, a something like a mutual fund is that uh, they diversify out the specific risk for that company. But enough for the financial theory. Um, you can see this, and you can use a similar procedure on the real. If you connect your node to a to the main net and buy yourself some real AVEX and put it in your wallet, um, you will uh, be able to do this and actually earn earn money, earn AVEX. So hopefully this has been helpful, and um, if it has, please give a like and please um, subscribe, ring the bell, and share share with your friends. And um, I will speak to you next time.